So a black hole is a region of space within which light doesn't come out. Nothing comes out. Embark on a cosmic journey with us as we unveil the extraordinary mysteries concealed within the vast expanse of space. Picture a mysterious force, an enigmatic object with colossal gravity, captivating scientists for years. In this video, Neil deGrasse Tyson leads us through recent developments that promise to unravel the secrets of black holes, those immensely powerful wonders of the universe. Get ready to have your mind blown as we delve into the unknown, guided by the profound insights of Tyson himself. This revelation is bound to reshape your understanding of the cosmos, so don't miss out. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. What are black holes? Black holes, remarkable celestial occurrences, originate from colossal explosions, condensing immense mass into an incredibly small space and generating gravitational forces of extraordinary intensity. The extremity is such that even light cannot escape its gravitational pull, rendering anything entering a black hole permanently trapped. These gravitational behemoths vary in size, with stellar black holes a few times the mass of our Sun, while supermassive black holes can possess millions or even billions of times the Sun's mass. Despite their seemingly eternal existence, black holes have a definite origin, emerging from the remnants of massive stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel, culminating in a spectacular supernova explosion. During this explosive event, the star's outer layers are violently expelled into space, while the core undergoes a gravitational collapse. The outcome depends on the core's mass. If it surpasses several times that of our Sun, Gravity prevails, causing a severe implosion that compresses the mass into an incredibly minute volume. Analogously, envision squeezing a softball where the ball shrinks, yet its mass remains constant, only denser. This compression is akin to the process a massive star undergoes during a supernova, shrinking to the size of a grain of sand while retaining its original weight. The formation of black holes is a fascinating display of the dynamic and evolving nature of the universe. A black hole is simply a concentrated mass existing in space. If the Earth were to transform into a black hole today, it would resemble a miniature version akin to the size of a plum. Types of black holes Black holes exhibit various types, each characterized by its distinct size, formation process, and behavior. Among these, the stellar black hole is the most prevalent, featuring a mass ranging from 3 to 10 times that of our Sun. Formed when a massive star depletes its nuclear fuel and succumbs to gravitational collapse, these black holes undergo an incredible shrinking, condensing a vast amount of mass into a minute volume. Despite their relatively small size, just a few kilometers across, stellar black holes are remarkably dense, establishing an event horizon. Intermediate mass black holes with uncertain exact masses believed to range from thousands to tens of thousands times that of the Sun are denser than their stellar counterparts. The mechanism behind their formation remains a puzzle, with two leading theories proposing mergers of several stellar black holes or the collapse of massive gas clouds in the early universe. At the higher end of the scale, supermassive black holes reign supreme, boasting masses in the millions to billions of times that of the Sun. Occupying the centers of most galaxies, including our Milky Way, their formation remains uncertain. One prevailing theory suggests continuous growth from smaller black holes by actively pulling in surrounding matter. Locating intermediate mass black holes poses challenges, but indirect observations, such as studying the behavior of stars and gas near suspected locations provide insights into their existence. Charged Black Holes Finally, we encounter charged black holes, intriguing variations within the black hole category distinguished by an electric charge. Two primary types of charged black holes are the Reissner-Nordstrom and Kerr-Newman varieties. Reissner-Nordstrom black holes bear an electric charge but lack rotation, as described by the Reissner-Nordstrom solution in general relativity. While their charge influences gravitational fields, they mostly resemble uncharged black holes, featuring an event horizon whose size depends on both the black hole's mass and charge. 
In contrast, Kerr-Newman black holes possess both an electric charge and spin, characterized by the Kerr-Newman solution in general relativity. The combination of charge and rotation engenders unique phenomena around these black holes, such as frame dragging, where the spinning black hole pulls and twists the surrounding spacetime. Like other black holes, they exhibit an event horizon, and there's an additional boundary known as the Cauchy horizon, marking the inner edge within the black hole where the singularity or the central point of the black hole is situated. Electron degeneracy. Have you ever wondered why things don't get squished completely when they're turning into a black hole? Is there a point where you can't squish something any further? Well, there is a limit to how much we can squeeze things, and this has to do with different ways matter can be. Think about a rock keeping its shape because of the forces between its tiny parts, like atoms and molecules. But when you push really hard, these parts can get super close together, and that's called electron degeneracy. In this case, electrons don't want to be crammed into the same space, so they keep their own space even when everything is squished. This happens in white dwarfs, which are leftover cores of stars, like our sun. Neutron stars. The next step in squishing things involves pushing electrons into protons. Under lots of pressure, a positive proton and a negative electron stick together, creating a neutral thing called a neutron. This process is linked to neutron stars, which are super dense objects in space. Neutron stars are actually the densest things in the universe, except for black holes. The material in a neutron star is so heavy that a tiny bit of it would weigh as much as a big mountain. The density is so extreme that if you dropped a piece of a neutron star here, it would go through the Earth like a knife through soft butter. Neutron stars, especially the ones that spin fast, have strong magnetic fields and are called pulses. The density of a neutron star is like squeezing 300 billion elephants into a tiny thimble. Once things get this squished, going further leads to the creation of black holes. What's on the other side? Ultimately, there are special types of black holes known as charged black holes. They stand out in the black hole group because they have an electric charge. The main kinds are the Reissner-Nordstrom and Kerr-Newman black holes. Reissner-Nordstrom ones have an electric charge but don't spin, while Kerr-Newman ones both have a charge and spin. The interaction between charge and spin creates interesting effects around these black holes, like twisting the surrounding space. They all have an event horizon, and there's an extra boundary called the Cauchy horizon inside the black hole where the central point, or singularity, is located. Dark matter, an enigmatic substance distinct from visible matter, shapes the universe by acting as a gravitational scaffold, possibly forming galaxies and black holes. There are intriguing ideas that dark matter may consist of primordial black holes or be invisible black holes spread throughout the cosmos. While dark matter is ubiquitous, it doesn't directly create black holes. However, spinning or charged black holes may be linked to dark matter. Exploring cosmic forces and quantum rules, black holes reveal a puzzle. Stephen Hawking's Hawking radiation theory suggests black holes slowly lose mass, challenging the notion of their inescapability. Hawking radiation, created by matter and antimatter particles near a black hole's edge, proposes that information and energy can escape, preserving quantum information previously considered destructible. This phenomenon provides insights into the mysterious nature of black holes, suggesting that details of what enters a black hole could escape through Hawking radiation. If you were to collect all the Hawking radiation emitted by a black hole over trillions of years and assemble it, you could theoretically reconstruct what initially entered the black hole. One explanation for this process suggests that the object falling into the black hole somehow acquires negative mass or negative energy due to the twisting of dimensions inside the black hole. However, our understanding of this phenomenon is still incomplete. Hawking's argument for the existence of this radiation was based on the internal consistency of the universe, yet the actual occurrence near the black hole remains mysterious. The energy field of this radiation is so potent that matter spontaneously originates within it, causing the black hole to lose mass. This mass loss occurs because the black hole is sending matter and energy beyond its event horizon. Our comprehensive knowledge about black holes primarily stems from detailed studies facilitated by the appropriate tools at our disposal. This is the Very Large Telescope, VLT, located in Chile at the Paranal Observatory. The observatory has four telescopes 
each with a large mirror of 8.2 meters in diameter. The VLT has special tools like the spectrograph, allowing scientists to study black holes in different ways and get clear pictures of how they behave. Another important tool is the Event Horizon Telescope, a group of radio telescopes around the world that work together like a giant Earth-sized telescope. In 2019, they took the first direct picture of a black hole, confirming what Einstein had theorized. At the VLT, there's also the gravity instrument that combines light from the telescopes to explore the areas around black holes like accretion disks and jets. The extremely large telescope, ELT, soon to be the world's largest, is being built to further study black holes and other space phenomena. Despite these advances, we still don't know everything about black holes, especially what's happening inside them. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson and other experts are exploring these mysteries, considering intriguing ideas like wormholes inside black holes and whether black holes could be gateways to other universes. When scientists study really small particles and how things move in space, they start thinking about different ideas. One interesting idea is the multiverse, which is like having many universes. These ideas come from equations and math, not just made up for fun. Neil, along with many other scientists, is curious about these ideas. Some people think that black holes, which are really strong areas of gravity, might work like time machines. This comes from Einstein's idea that time doesn't always move at the same speed everywhere. Near big things like black holes, time can slow down. Black holes are like a special place where time slows down a lot. Imagine a spaceship going around a black hole. The people inside would feel time passing slower than people on Earth. When they come back, they would find that Earth has aged a lot. Some scientists even think that black holes could make loops in time, allowing for time travel into the future and maybe even the past. But not everyone agrees, and it's a big topic in science with important questions about time how things happen, and what the world is made of. 